armadillo whose scientific name is, and I actually don't know if it's a hard CH or if it's Catofractus or Chatofractus. I'm going to go with Catofractus villosus. Mm-hmm. Common name is the big hairy armadillo. Mm. Okay, so the big hairy armadillo, um, which lives in South America. There's more than one of them, but the species lives in South America. They have gigantic penises. Mm. And uh, I came to know this in doing research for my piece that I published on my Substack last week on the sleep of seals. The connection may be, and indeed should be, um, unclear. Yes, just, it, it uh, is. Uh, I promise you. Yes. On this side of the table, <laughs> so point. far, I got nothing. Yeah. Well, okay. So um, I am not now, nor have I ever been a man. Therefore, I'm not in actual possession of, of a penis on my person. But as I understand it, and as research confirms, um, men uh, have erections during REM sleep. Apparently, all the time. Like, all the time. As do all the mammals where it's been looked at. Really? Yes. Erections during REM sleep. All the animals where it's been looked at, with one exception. Oh, I think I know what it is. The big hairy armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> with its gigantic penis. And I don't actually, that's probably wrong, but like seriously, it's penis. Oh, because it would it, be a liability. Its penis is more than half the length of its body, not including its tail. Do we know for why? No. Okay. Right. And so, but they've, they've got some weird reproductive stuff. Like they, I, and I, I did not dive deep enough into like what weird reproductive stuff they have. And I think we basically don't know, but seriously, all the mammals that have been looked at, except for the big hairy armadillo, have REM sleep erections. And the big hairy armadillo does indeed have erections during its sleep, but only in non-REM sleep. Wait, 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 wait. I know. <laughs> I'm telling you. So um, here, you can show my screen if you feel like it. <clears throat> here we have the, the paper in question it's from 2001. This was not published on April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day right now, but absence of penile, er so paradoxical sleep is just another word for REM sleep. Absence of penile erections during paradoxical sleep. Peculiar penile events during wakefulness and slow wave sleep in the armadillo. Now, it turns out it's not the armadillo. It's just this one species, the common name of which is the big hairy armadillo. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and this is, um, this is one of the ways I amuse myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm all this alone. is how you're spending your time over the event horizon. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Or between event horizons. Uh, yeah, so I'm going I'm to read the... Um, Hmm. I'm going to read the abstract out loud. Okay. Oh, sure. First, the keywords, though, armadillo, paradoxical sleep, penile erections, slow wave sleep, voluntary erections, and wakefulness. Now, if that isn't the best list of keywords for any paper you've ever heard, I don't know what is. <laughs> Who studies this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> these guys are in um, Buenos Aires. That? They're, these are Argentinian um, doctors and scientists. Here's Good job, guys. Studying yeah. that? Oh, you should check out the methods. Studying that topic suggests that we've got so much stuff wired that I know for sure we know nothing about, right? No, but you're not that guy. Like, we've both studied things. It's like, there, is, all... there is no applied reason to do this, but it's out there. It's happening. I'm interested. Science should know. Now, I don't know if that applies to this question, <laughs> but here's the abstract. It sounds very science. <laughs> The electroencephalogram, EEG, together with electromyogram, EMG, of the, oh boy, ischiocavernosis, bulbocavernosis, and levator penis muscles were chronically monitored across behavioral states of the armadillo, Ketopractus villosus, again, the big hairy armadillo, if you're paying attention at home. This animal has a very long penis, which exhibits remarkable phenomena during wakefulness, slow wave sleep, and paradoxical sleep. Again, paradoxical sleep just means REM. During wakefulness, it remains retracted within a skin receptacle. During slow wave sleep, penile protrusion can be observed together with very complex movements. <laughs> protrusion is a non erectile event during which the penis remains out of its receptacle, but without rigidity. Penile erections are observed only during slow wave sleep. They don't mean they don't get them when they're awake, because that's wrong. They mean during sleep. <laughs> um, but it's their second language. That's the excuse, mm. I think. Contrasting with other mammals, no erections occur during paradoxical sleep. During this phase, the penile muscles share the atonia of the body musculature characteristic of that phase, which raises the question, erections are apparently common in all the other mammals um, that have been looked at in REM sleep, and otherwise you have atonia. Otherwise you have an inability to move any muscles except apparently for your penis 
if you're that sort of person who has one. So that <laughs> sort of person who has one. Worst euphemism yet. Non-uterus havers. <laughs> Non-uterus havers. Right. Some reflections on mechanisms of those penile events are presented. Just got a couple. So <laughs> am I correct to Almost predict undoubtedly, yes. that the method section involves, it's not a platysmograph. Platysmograph? Yeah. I don't, I don't I don't get it yet. What's a platysmograph? It's a, uh, a penis blood flow monitor. Oh no, I think they're just looking. I mean, these oh. they're really big. In the abstract, they said they were doing basically that. No, no, they're doing um, well. Yeah, actually, electromyograms. Yeah. Um, but I think those are they're getting readouts. They're not. They don't think they have it. Uh, maybe they do. I don't remember. Honestly, um, I didn't pay. So the results. I love the the top of the results section. Brief anatomical description of the penis. This description is necessary in order to understand the results. Like it actually should have gone into the methods, but okay. The protruded penis, figure one, is very long and in specimens measuring 35 centimeters in length, excluding the tail, is approximately 19 centimeters long. Wow. Wow. Okay. So one more little section here. We've got, of course, a diagram. They've got, wait, 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 wait. They've got a baculum. A baculum. Yeah. Of course you do. Uh, yeah. I mean, most mammals do. That's the penis bone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm not so. Uh, but then they all. I like how they introduce language here. The dominant sleep posture in the, posture in the laboratory is in dorsal or lateral decubitus. I looked it up. It's like that means they lie on their backs. Or they sleep on their backs. Or their sides. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not gonna hold on. I think here we go. Erections. Penile behavior. Arch-like erections occur. These are the most impressive phenomena. They were always accompanied by transient extensions of the four limbs, together with slight changes in body posture. <laughs> the penis adopted the form of an arch, concavity downwards when the animal slept in dorsal decum, when the animal slept on its back. They were similar to those observed during waking states in sight of females. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's all I got. Well, I now know why you didn't tell me this segment was coming. <laughs> I might have called in sick. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, wild. Very strange. Very strange. Again, right? I think somebody needs to, probably in anthropology, somebody needs to study these researchers and see how it is that they arrived at such a topic. Yes. And I mean, there are some notes in there that I haven't shared too about um, some particular erections that the armadillos experienced and, and how they were assessed. <laughs> <laughs> so it is interesting, though, is it not? There's, that yeah. that, that um, a there's been a whole lot of research into under what sleep conditions various species of mammals experience erections. Yep. Okay. I mean, at one level, do of they have conferences is, about that? <laughs> it's probably a, like a there's probably a, a symposium at, uh, at larger conferences. Right. Right. Yeah. The um, now the, the size of the conference doesn't matter. The sleep erection symposia. It does if you're an armadillo. <laughs> I guess. I guess it does. So I don't know. I don't know. There's something. There's something reproductively interesting going on with the armadillo. I think genetically, maybe. I think you know the size, the the like, size oh. of the penis to to body size ratio. We like, know. We know from the adaptive test mm -hmm. described in the hunter gatherer's guide. I'm not doubting it's adaptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> No, there's a there's a damn good reason for all of that architecture and the um, the pattern of erections during different kinds of. Actually, I'm a, I learned something. I learned that armadillos have REM sleep, which I guess isn't that a synapomorphy of mammals, something like that. I think we think it's a synapomorphy, which is to say a um, shared derived characteristic new to mammals, or maybe it's just therians, which is to say all the mammals except for the echidnas and the platypus. Although it may just be that it's hard to assess REM sleep in echidnas and the platypus. <laughs> Yes, without laughing, at least in the platypus. I don't know yes. how these people did this work without laughing all the time. Yeah. No, they probably did. I don't think the armadillos were laughing. No. So like, you pulled me out of where and you're <laughs> right. doing what? No, they have quite the alien abduction story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they weren't in sight of any females at all. They were just uh, having erections during their yeah. normal time sleep. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. That's all very strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, that is where we have arrived. Yeah, we have arrived there yes. somehow. Yep.